the exclusive or, outputs a 1, if 1 and only 1 input is 1. It is based on the OR gate, so we'll review that quickly, and then we'll fill in the logic table, and, and uh, we'll see that this rule really is pretty simple once, uh, once we start getting to it. Here we are reviewing the OR gate, and remember uh, our OR gate is going to output a 1 if A or B is 1. So it didn't output a 1 there because A or B was not 1. It does output a, a 1 here because uh, B was 1. In this case, it outputted a 1 because well, A was 1. And down here, A and B are 1. A or B are 1, and it outputs a 1. Uh, this is the, uh, the spot where exclusive OR is going to make a change. Uh, it's going to be different than this OR gate. Exclusive OR is going to have a difference right here. Let's uh, fill in our, our inputs and uh, then we'll evaluate the output for the exclusive OR gate. There are the inputs and the Boolean expression for the exclusive OR output is going to be expressed like this, A exclusively OR B that exclusively OR symbol is a circle with a, a plus sign in the middle of it. Now let's evaluate uh, the outputs, applying the exclusively OR rule to it. And uh, to describe it in a different way, where the OR gate didn't, uh, didn't really care down here if uh, there was a 1 and a 1 for A and B, it still outputted a 1. The uh, exclusive OR, it's being serious about OR. It, it'll output a 1 here where there's a 0 and a 1. It'll output a 1 here where there's a 1 and a 0. But it doesn't call this uh, a 1. It means exclusively OR, one or the other. So uh, filling this in, we've got We've got uh, a 0, a 1, a 1, and a 0.